Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video of the Samsung Focus Flash. Uh, this is a pretty ancient Windows Phone. It's a Windows Phone 7 device that I upgraded to Windows Phone 7.8, as you can see. Um, but this is running on a single core 1.4 GHz Snapdragon processor. It has a 3.7 inch 480 by 800 display resolution, and it's an AMOLED screen. So I just want to take a quick look at it. It's kind of a revisited kind of review because it's such an old phone. But I've just been astounded at how good it is, so I wanted to tell you guys about that. So here we are. Uh, this is the home screen, it's Windows Phone 7.8, and what I really like about this phone, I'll just go through point by point, is just how fast it stays. I mean, this thing stays just as fast as my HTC One Google Play Edition, and it probably, it feels faster than like a Galaxy S3, it really does, so it just blows through everything. The operating system is really made for it, and it just feels absolutely great. So, um, that's the first thing here. What, another thing I like is just the software. So a lot of it, when it comes to apps, getting apps from the marketplace, they're just not really there. You aren't going to find, we are going to find a lot of your apps like Facebook or um, like Snapchat kind of apps, but a lot of them are just a lot lower quality than the Android or iOS apps. So like, for example, here we're open the Amazon app and um, as you can see, it's slower and the whole device is pretty fast. But opening these third-party apps is slow, and things load slowly, and it just, uh, just not very easy to use overall. You kind of have to figure things out more, and wait for things more. But this is an old phone, so that's kind of expected. So, um, what I really like about this phone, also, is the metal body. Now, <laughs> it's nothing like the HTC One we have here, but... The little the size of it, it just fits right in your hand. This is how this is the size I think phones should still be. I can put my thumb right there. I hold it like this, one handed easily. You know, it's about the size of you know an iPhone four, and just the size of it and the build quality of it, it just the cold metal in your hand, everything. This is probably my probably my favorite favorite phone of all time. I mean that's open to a lot of speculation. Maybe I'll just make that my favorite Windows phone of all time, but. Um, let's go to the camera here. Um, the camera on this phone, um, it's, it's for an old phone. You think it would be just a piece of junk, but it's surprisingly good. I'm not exactly a camera a fuck a fuckshinado. I'm not sure of that word, but um, I'm not a big camera guy. But it takes definitely good enough pictures. The colors are good. The resolution is only five megapixels, but it takes pretty good pictures, along with the front-facing camera. It's it's not the front facing camera is is kind of lacking, but um, another thing I just really love about this phone is uh, Windows Phone Seven instead of Windows Phone Eight. They took out some things from Windows Phone Eight that just kind of like Windows Phone Seven was just really had a lot of little things to it, like the music app here, the background behind it, the Photos app had a background like that behind it. And things just were being kept simple. And now things are being taken out in Windows 28.1 that just make it not as nice. But that's a whole point outside of this. But overall, I just cap up all that. I really enjoy this phone. It's test it's stood, it's stood the test of time. I still use this as my podcast device or load up music for work and everything. And the screen is bright. The performance is snappy. And it's just held up through time. I would not use it as my daily driver but it's still great as a backup. Thank you for watching.